Well, Elon Musk has already been warned about his Twitter use, but that hasn't stopped him so far. Musk tweeted another Tesla production forecast, like the one that got him in trouble in the first place. He wrote that the company will build over half a million cars in the next year. A similar tweet led the SEC to argue he was in contempt of a settlement reached last year. Joining us to discuss, Bloomberg Craig Trudell, who covers Tesla for us. So, uh, Craig, what exactly happened this time? So this is, uh, as you pointed out, very similar to a post that he sent in February. Uh, in, in that post, he said that uh, the company was going to build uh, about 500,000 cars this year. Uh, around that time, uh, the in-house securities lawyer at uh, Tesla, who uh, was, was sort of named to a position or hired as a result of a settlement with the SEC, uh, reached out to, to Musk and sort of worked with him to quickly uh, send out a, a, a follow-up tweet to sort of clean that first one up because it was uh, sort of inconsistent with uh, past statements. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a sort of deeper story there where Musk himself sort of contradicted uh, a, a written statement on an earnings call. But in any case, uh, they tried to clean it up. The SEC very much took notice and uh, reached out to uh, Musk's lawyers. And we found ourselves in this uh, contempt of court fight. Uh, for, for Musk to send this tweet over the weekend, it was very reminiscent of it. It also just, uh, based on sort of context clues, didn't look like the sort of post that maybe was uh, run by a lawyer. It was sort of in passing and made in a reply to uh, some, some person on, on Twitter. Uh, so it, it definitely sort of read as though uh, Musk was doing something very similar, just sort of casually talking about how many cars Tesla is going to make. And the SEC has argued that's very much material information and something that he's supposed to get cleared with, uh, with a lawyer within Tesla. So, Craig, there's no question that Elon Musk likes to fly close to the sun, which is what many investors love about him. But technically, if the information is correct, is he allowed, per this agreement, to tweet about it? Well, this is part of uh, why the, the judge uh, who's overseeing this case uh, told both sides uh, just within the last couple weeks uh, to put their reasonableness pants on, and that was those were her words, uh, to uh, go back and revisit this agreement and sort of come to an, an agreement of, uh, of what is and isn't material and what the sort of protocols are for Musk. Clearly, he, he does not like this agreement. Uh, he's wanted it changed. I think that's sort of come through in the, the ways in which uh, he and his legal team have sort of uh, reacted to the SEC, um, sort of, uh, you know, wanting to do battle over this again. Um, and the, the problem with Musk is it, it probably isn't a good idea for him to go about uh, sort of, you know, taking issue with this agreement by basically, uh, you know, doing the same thing that, that caused the SEC to get frustrated with him in the first place. Uh, the judge in this case set a deadline for this Thursday for, for the two parties to come together, meet for an hour and at least an hour and hash things out. And if they're not able to come to an agreement, the judge uh, will make a, a ruling on whether or not Musk is in contempt and uh, decide sort of what to do from there. Meantime, there are real concerns, right, about deliveries. And Nikkei also reported that the company and Panasonic are freezing plans to extend capacity in the battery factory that they share in Nevada. What do we know about this? Yeah, this, this was a report last week. Uh, Nikkei, obviously a very well-sourced publication in Japan, uh, came out and, and said that these two companies were sort of uh, putting uh, expansion at Gigafactory on hold uh, as a result of, of questions about just how much demand there is for electric vehicles, uh, sort of the, the financials of, of this project. Uh, this is one uh, where, where Panasonic, uh, you know, spend a lot of money alongside Tesla to build this plant. It's a massive factory out in Nevada. Uh, and so it's raised some real questions about just sort of the relationship there. Uh, and so it's a really important one for, for both companies. And, and Tesla can sort of ill afford uh, to have this relationship fall apart because of just how much they're sort of invested in one another. And interestingly, uh, while Musk was tweeting away this weekend, he sort of hung Panasonic out to dry and said that they're 
uh, battery cell uh, manufacturing lines at the Gigafactory were actually holding up uh, production of Model 3 sedans, uh, which is which which is kind of an interesting claim and also uh, just just uh, sort of is is puzzling given the drop in deliveries that we've seen with Tesla. You would think that they're not having a, a problem with production lately. What they're having a problem with is demand.